In the previous video, I unpack my security key NFC, the basic one, and I show you how easy it is to use on a Google account to create a passkey. I've also demonstrated you how to avoid the error of creating the passkey in your device. You need to usually select an, an option to use a physical security key. And in this video, I'm gonna show you that you can use the standard tooling by Ubico even with your security key NFC not the five series, the most expensive and the most powerful one I used in all my previous videos. If you launch the YubiKey Manager, um, as I show you in a really um, old video, maybe the first one video, um, you have immediately uh, information about your key. It, it is telling me that I have the security key NFC, not the five one, and that I have the firmware 5.7.1. And this is important because the 5.7 firmware in greater one allow me to save 100 passkey on my security key instead of the standard 25 we had in the past. And this increase is um, due to the fact that passkey, uh, the usage of passkey is increasing. The more and more sites are offering the uh, option to log in with a passkey. And so it is probably the time to increase this number because in the old time, 25 passkey was more than enough. And now, probably having a little bit more is not uh, a bad thing. So the firmware 5.7 allow you to have 100, up to 100 passkey on your security key. If you choose the second menu application, as you can see, the OTP and the PIV part has grayed out because as I told you before, and I want you to remember, this is the basic security key. So it is the less expensive one. It costs almost half the Ubico 5. So for the price of one Ubico 5, you can get two of this and you have only FIDO true option. And yeah, you have only the option to change the pin of your key or to reset the key. And so to delete all the key you have stored inside your physical key. And this option is usually you, uh, useful if you use the key in your company, you give the key to uh, uh, your employee, and when the employee return the key to you, you should reset credential. And if you are an employee that gets the key from your employer, from your company, before returning the key, probably you should reset by yourself to avoid anyone else using your credential. And it depends on the the contract you have with your um, employer. But usually if you ever need to give the key to someone else, the better is reset everything inside it before giving the key to another person and reset the pin to a new value, avoiding uh, giving the key to one person and telling him the pin. So a complete reset is perfect. The key will be resetted to uh, the default values. And if you click interfaces, you have the option for USB or NFC to enable or disable the only two feature you have in your key. And it's the FIDO2 and the FIDO2 universal two-factor authentication. So these are the two feature you're using with the passkey, the feature you are using to log into your account without needed the password. So you can enter only by typing the pin and touching your key, or you're using the key as a universal factor, two factor of authentication. So you just need to touch your key when your site asks you for the second factor of authentication. But clearly, even if the operating system allows you to manage the key, basically set the pin the first time, as I show you in the first video, uh, using the Ubico manager is not only useful because you have the basic operation like clearing the key, but you have a common line like this in which you can use as an example, the FIDO credential list. You need to run this command uh, in a prompt open as administrator. Um, you need to enter the pin of the key and it is gonna give you the list of all the credentials you have on your key. And you can also delete a single credential. So. One thing that the Ubico, uh, YubiKey has, and it's very good, is a good command line that allows you to manage single credential inside your key. And so you can really manage a lot of information of your key. And this concludes the video because there is uh, nothing more to tell about configuration of the key. Uh, you can look at my previous video to look at all the features you have instead of you know, on the security key five series. And I'm waiting you for the next one.